Amid Yellowstone's iconic geothermal fields, a rare and surprising phenomenon recently occurred two major eruptions in quick succession rocked the region. The usually quiet Biscuit Basin suddenly spewed a torrent of hot mud and steam. Just hours Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, broke the silence with another powerful eruption. On a date, still fresh in memory, Biscuit Basin's second eruption, a surprise that was never predicted. A cool morning in Yellowstone National Park suddenly turned tense when Biscuit Basin erupted for the second time, triggering anxiety among geologists. The sudden eruption raised concerns about the potential for greater volcanic activity in a region known for its natural beauty and geothermal phenomena. Biscuit Basin, one of Yellowstone's major geothermal areas, is known for its beautiful but sensitive geysers and hot springs. This eruption is not just a regular blast of steam and hot water, but rather a sign of a significant increase in underground activity. The second recent eruption from Yellowstone National Park's Black Diamond Pool soared about 20 feet, according to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. It was lower than the first eruption that nearly threatened visitors, but The second eruption brought signs that didn't match previous patterns. Pressure sensors recorded small but persistent waves from underground. Some areas around the hot pool became hotter than usual, even forming new steam gaps. Scientists suspect underground pressure transfers between systems. The formation of new steam pockets and the release of new, previously undetected gases. This eruption is small, but it has a big message. This is not just regular geothermal activity, this is an anomaly that we don't understand yet, said Dr. Richard Madsen, a geothermal structure researcher. The second eruption was not as powerful as the first, but it was precisely because it was not as explosive and did not follow the usual pattern that it caused concern in the scientific world. Researchers debate whether the eruption is an early sign of a shift in underground pressure linked to steamboat activity or a sign that a new geothermal system is starting to become active beneath the Biscuit Basin. We don't know where this is going. But one thing is for sure, Yellowstone is talking in a way we've never heard before, said University of Colorado geothermal systems expert, Professor Arvind Rao. After a brief lull from the two Biscuit Basin eruptions, Yellowstone National Park was once again struck by the incredible power of nature. The massive eruption of Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest geyser, transformed the region's quiet into an explosion of activity and enthusiasm, drawing thousands of visitors who flocked to witness the wonder. Steamboat Geyser erupted with incredible force, shooting hot water and steam more than 180 feet into the air. The sudden, spectacular eruption rocked the entire Norris Geyser Basin, shattering the morning silence with an earth-shaking roar. The latest eruption of Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park was not only astonishing for its power, it also had a very unusual physical characteristic. It featured something rarely seen in geyser eruptions. 
Solids such as coarse silica and small rock fragments were thrown into the air along with the steam and hot water. The event immediately raised concerns among geologists who noted similarities to previous mysterious Biscuit Basin eruptions. Typically, geysers spew hot water and steam. But in this eruption, surveillance cameras and field observations showed coarse silica grains, rock fragments and mineral deposits being ejected from the Earth's interior. This is not a typical geyser eruption. If solid material like that is being lifted up, it means the pressure pushing up from below is so strong that it is starting to erode the surrounding rock, said Dr. Eliza Romero, a volcanologist at the Montana Geological Institute. What made scientists even more uneasy was the similarity between the steamboat eruption and the second Biscuit Basin eruption some time ago, which also produced steam from new vents, mysterious gas releases, and sudden increases in ground temperatures. We may be witnessing pressure shifting in the Yellowstone geothermal system. This could mean that there is a connected underground network that is now active simultaneously, said Prof. Gerald Tan, an expert in hydrothermal systems. Within 24 hours of the eruption, a team from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory went directly to the field to collect material samples, check soil temperatures, and analyze the chemical composition of silica and released gases from both eruption sites.